Oh, your beauty. Can't beat a bit of silly foam. Do you know what I mean, silly foam? Let's talk about silly foam. Where to use it? Back in a minute. It's going all over the carpet. Hello chillins, painters and decorators of the interweb, DIYers, anybody interested in anything relating to painting and decorating and the problems you can have when you're a painter and decorator. Does Phil Beckwith have problems? Yeah, Phil Beckwith never has problems. Right, today, let's talk about what we're doing today. It's not a top tip Tuesday, but it's something a lot of painters and decorators struggle with. Over my shoulder, you see that? So the stringing on the staircase comes all the way down. Now what's the problem that painters and decorators have with that? It's wood, it moves. Walls are plaster, we're plasterboard. Yeah, you get a gap coming. So you're gonna to say to me, Phil, you're the professional. What do you do in these situations? Other than Googling it, looking on YouTube, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to rectify these problems of a gap just there. It's quite bad up there. The plasterboard falls short of the top edge of the stringing on the staircase by about, oh, I'm going to say nearly an inch, what, 25 mil. It comes all the way down. Now this is a three-story house. I'm on the top section. So as I work my way down the house, what I'm going to do is rake out that top edge like I've done now. It's all raked out and clean. I've got that gap and I've got to fill it. And you're gonna say, Phil, how do you fill it? Well, if you go back years, how would you do it? You'd probably get some newspaper, you'd probably get some polyfiller, that's a brand name, mix up powder filler. You just stuff it with paper and then just fill it. Yeah, that's a quick fix. It, it sorts it out until the staircase starts moving again. Then you get that crack on the stringing edge going up the staircase again and particularly around there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do to rectify this for a longer term fix. And it involves, like you saw at the beginning, oh, your beauty, silly foam. You're going to say, what do you mean silly foam? It's expandable foam. You know what you put around pipes and things like that. Now you're going to say, how do you do this? Well, what I'm going to do is, where I've got the wall, and I'll take you up there in a minute, I can hear, because it's plasterboard on brick, breeze block, you can hear it hollow. So I'm going to get a screwdriver or a drill, I'll use a screwdriver, poke a hole in it. Now because this flex in that wall, I'm going to squirt some of this in. Now this expands well, easily twice its size. So if you expand it into the wall, you'll stop that flex on that plasterboard. Once I'm happy with that, I'll put some in round the bottoms and let it come out. And then tomorrow, when it's all dry, I'm not gonna show you how to fill it, I'm just gonna show you how to squeeze all this stuff in. I'll come back, just cut it off with a blade, and then just your usual, get some um, mix-up filler or already pre-made filler and just skim it out and get it smooth. And then once you're happy with it, you've sanded it down, you can get a, a primer coat on the woodwork because this is going to be painted. And then probably just finish off with a, a cork of, um, I'm going to say a cork of bead. A bead of cork, that's a bit of a, a tongue twister, cork of bead. So just cork it round to make it nice and smooth. But it's one of these processes, I've said before on projects, it's, it's like doing an oil painting. As you look at this picture and you're building it up, you'll be adding to it. If you think something needs a bit more to it, you put a bit more filler in or a bit more paint, a bit more cork. So that's where I am with it. So in a minute, I'm gonna go up there, show you what I'm gonna do, put some stuff in it, it'll expand, and then you'll see it coming out and you'll get the idea. That should hold the plasterboard from flexing because the other problem I've got, and I'll show you in a moment, because that is really part two of this video, 
is where you get on these walls nail heads or screw heads popping off the plasterboard. You're going to say, how do we rectify that? Well, if we know where they are, some of these have actually filled. You just chip them out so you can see the screw. Some of them are screw, some of them are nailed. Now they've obviously worked loose. So the best thing to do is either screw it back in the far, as far as you can get, because it's already in the joist or whatever it's being fixed in by, screw it in and then fill over it. And you might need two fills, you might need one, depends what fill you're using. But that's, that's an easy fix. When you've got screw heads, nail heads popping on plasterboard, chop that bit of a, shall we call it a pop off, where the plasterboard pops off. Chop that away and then screw it in or nail it in, get a hammer with a nail punch, knock it in a bit further, because obviously they've worked a little bit loose. Screwing it in, knocking it in, jobs are good, fill it, sand it. If it needs another fill, you'll fill a bit more. But I'll show you that in another one, um, another section of this video, because I've got one just over my shoulder, just down there that needs something. So that's my demo one for you. But there we are, um, let's get up there, show you what I'm doing with this, and then let's try and keep it under 10 minutes. Job's good. Back with you, I'm behind the camera. I'm going to show you what this gap is. If you come down a lot, look at that. Get your finger in it. It's about a good inch tapers off. Now some of it's tight where the filler is, where it's been filled with the plaster. I've raked out all the way up there. You just see that. Some of the smaller things, they can be just corked. And you know what I've said to, be, said to you before, never fill anything before you've primed it. But in this instance, get your silly foam, your expandable foam polystyrene stuff. And today, it's the no nonsense from screw fix pretty good product really these no nonsense fill it in there let it come out then just cut it back and then fill it with your filler your filler by your filler of choice now i've got it all the way up and down of doing this so i'll do that but you know when i was just mentioned about i don't know if you can see it screw heads and nail heads popping some of these have already filled and sanded get them smooth so you just chop them off Nail punch them in or screw them in depending on whether the nail or a screw. Screw it in, it's normally a positive Phillips screw. And then you can just fill over it and sand it. These have probably had two because these are really nice and smooth. And I've gone over the walls with the Mercolaros. So that's where we are with it. So let's crack on. Screwdriver end. I'm going to make a hole. Make a hole in the wall. Let me pipe can go in the hole I'm doing it there with a screwdriver look at the gap it's just touching it there so if we can get some silly foam in there and it's like spanned up that will then drop and fill up around the bottom on the inside. Let's do that. Do another one there. Don't need too many. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. bit of a wall there so that's a better better place so just chop that out just a brush shake your cam well I've been shaking it like a Polaroid picture push that all the way in so you can feel it up against the wall there and then and pull it out Make it touch the back of the wall and bring it forward. Same there. Filling up nicely. Drop some on the carpet. Then stick it in there, do exactly the same. Get 
got the idea. We won't worry about the carpet for now. Customers out. When it's dried out, chip it away. But there we are, look. So I filled up to secure that wall there and then gone down that edge. Now I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom and I'll come back and show you that. So see you in a few. It's going all over the carpet. So here we have it, you see that there, I've just chopped off the plaster, it's actually a nail that's popped, so I've just chopped it off, all the bits that's loose, got a hammer, got a nail punch, every good decorator should have a nail punch, now what you do is just tap it back till it goes tight. You see it there, that's gripping, that's not going to move and I've got one just there as well. That's tight, that's not going to move, that's as um, tight as nun's knickers, well I'd say that. So. I've just got Ticarilla, brilliant tub filler, this is Presto F. I'm just going to skim these out in one, as easy as that, skim them out in one, look. I'm not trying to fill it in one, I've just skimmed it out in one, and then tomorrow, light sand, and I'll just give it a second fill, just in case it moves. So for now, that's all trapped in that nail and there. Dead easy. I'm happy with that. Don't try and fill too much in one go. Just make it hard work. Don't leave too much on the surface. Or you only got to sand it down. So if you can get it as smooth as you possibly can, it's easier to sand down than just give a second skim um, tomorrow. So there we are with it. Dead easy. I'm probably not under 10 minutes, but we're not far off it. This. show you but this is how we fill it right there, you can see me. really good I've oozed it out that'll set nicely and I can cut it back with a blade I can cut it back with a blade and then fill up with the ordinary filler these gaps here aren't very big I'm going to get some primer on, they can then be um, corked and it shouldn't move too much. It's one of those things, unless you're going to actually rebuild the staircase, you're always going to get this problem. But if you can try and help it along, see that's made that solid because there's all the silly foam at the back. So there we are, are we happy? Are we happy with how that looks? I'll probably do a video when we finish this job and just show you how it all looked in the end. But this is how you fill it, cut it back and then fill it with ordinary filler. So over and out. Say goodbye to you properly. That's me, over and out. See you on the next one. Don't forget, comments, smash that subscribe button 
And if you're really keen, is there a bell? It all helps towards that Porsche. <laughs>